John Letts and Sally Lane walked from the Old Bailey found guilty on a charge of funding terrorism. Through their solicitor, they suggested, faced with their dilemma, any parent would have done the same. We have been convicted for doing what any parent would do if they thought that their child's life was in danger. We believe that we have been let down badly by the police and the government. We tried to do the right thing. These parents' crime was sending money to their son Jack, who'd converted to Islam and travelled to Syria to join Islamic State. Though John Letts in his police interviews always insisted the cash was to help Jack escape and return home. Sally was very clear in saying, like, is this being used to get out? And he said, yes, Mum, you know, this is to get out. I am not with the state. You know, I am, I'm not with them. I disagree with their creed. Officers said they understood parents' concern for the child they'd raised, but had warned that the adult Jack, who suffers from obsessive-compulsive disorder, could allow the money to end up in the hands of terrorists. The message out of all of this is it doesn't really matter uh, what, what the circumstances are, it's still not OK to break the law. That doesn't take anything away from how, you know, we, you know the empathy that we feel from parents who are in this situation. The jury had heard Jack Lett's voice on social media asking his parents for help. Like in have run out of money completely. I have five, five Syrian lira, which is probably like 0.00001p. The court was shown CCTV footage of a cash transfer where Sally Lane, in the blue jacket here, sent £223 to her son. A second charge that she later attempted to send a larger sum was thrown out by the jury after hearing the parents' explanation. In their defence, John Letts and Sally Lane said they had informed counter-terrorism police of their dilemma, but had been given conflicting advice. Originally told they could transfer money to their son, but days later warned they'd be breaking the law if they did. During their trial, the parents were accused of turning a blind eye to the reality of what their son had been doing. Despite evidence like a Facebook post in which he'd suggested a photograph of an old school friend passing a course in the British Army was a scene on which he'd love to perform a martyrdom operation. Today, Jack Letts, Jihadi Jack as he's been dubbed, is being held in a Kurdish prison. Now his parents' trial is over, we can broadcast an interview in which he told ITV News security editor Rohit Kashru he'd voluntarily joined so-called Islamic State. Yeah, God, that's a huge mistake, not just a mistake. Um, and I deserve what comes to me now. I'm not going to try and say I'm innocent. I'm not innocent. According to this definition, of course, I was a terrorist, Yanni. That's not the life I want to lead now, Yanni. That's not why I left. If I wanted to stay as an idiot that I was, I wouldn't have left. His future is uncertain. His parents, who were given a suspended jail sentence today and allowed to go home, are now pressing the government to allow their son back into Britain even if that means, like them, being brought before a British court. Paul Davis, ITV News.